The reason I'm talking about uh, working from home tonight is my old boss, who some of you might know, uh, Lord Alan Sugar. He's been uh, talking, giving his view, got to be honest, he doesn't mince his words. Uh, when it comes from uh, about working from home, I've got his tweet to show you what he said. Um, he says... Uh, I think he's referring to someone that's been messaging him. He says, most who work from home watch more TV than work. There are a few exceptions, but the majority are lazy gits. When some of my companies recruit, the first question asked by some applicants is, can I work from home? And they are shown the door. I've been asking you on Twitter, uh, what do you think? Do you think uh, majority of people that work from home are lazy gits? Uh, the result is what? 56% of you almost say yes, they are. Oh, you're a harsh bunch. Uh, Peter Edwards, where do you stand on it, working from home? Uh, well, I wouldn't refer to people in that way, but... Good, uh, we like politeness on Jubes and Co. Uh, and there is a right to work from home, but I think there is also a... Product... Hang on, what do you mean there's a right to work from home? Sorry, there's a right to re request it. Right. Uh, employers uh, don't have to improve it. You're right to correct me. But I think there is a productivity deficit because you've got to be an excellent communicator to ensure that when you're in a different building, maybe a different town, that you are um, getting on as effectively with the colleagues that you used to sit next to. Um, I also think there's a point, especially for people in the kind of first half of their career, especially about learning from their colleagues. And, you know, my, my first trade was in newspaper journalism. There's no, no way in the world I would have been able to kind of do that for nine or ten years if I hadn't sat in a room um, with colleagues of 20, 30 years' experience for seven or eight hours a day. There are many other jobs where you can't do it at all. And, um, uh, you know, when I saw Alan Sugar's tweet, I think the beginning of the tweet with the words, listen, scumbag, <laughs> is perhaps uh, not the best way to get your argument across. But uh, I think there is a productivity here and you do, you miss out on learning from your colleagues. So that's, that's a great shame and that can be bad for the employer.